Hello, my name is Michael Wells. I'm an engineering technologist with Dell. And today we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the Apex Cloud platform for Red Hat OpenShift. Uh, in the previous video, we did a brief introduction for the Apex Cloud platform for Red Hat OpenShift. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, please follow the link in the description. Uh, but just to summarize, uh, the Apex Cloud platform consists of a compute cluster and a storage cluster. Um, underlying, we have the Red Hat Core OS. We have our Apex Cloud Platform foundation software. And then OpenShift 4.13. All right. On the storage side, we have the Dell software defined storage. Red Hat Enterprise Linux and the storage management components. All right. So this is the compute and storage for Apex Cloud Platform for Red Hat OpenShift. So when we look at the underlying hardware, both the compute and the storage nodes are based on our MC platform, the MC760. and the MC660. The MC760 is a two rack unit configuration, and the MC660 is a one U configuration. Both of these are based on our 16G Dell PowerEdge platforms and based on the Intel fourth generation scalable Xeon processors. So we look a little deeper into the compute nodes. For the compute side, we have one or two socket options up to 104 total cores. All right? Up to eight terabytes of memory and a number of NVIDIA GPU options. Right. On the storage side, we have two socket configurations, again up to 104 cores, 8 terabytes of memory. Both node configurations have NIC options for 25 gigabit or 100 gigabit. Uh, if you need to connect to 10 gigabit switches, you can do that. The 25 gig NICs um, uh, will auto negotiate down to 10, uh, but we recommend the faster networking whenever possible. All right. So we talked about what's inside the compute and storage clusters. The way the compute utilizes the storage cluster is through the container storage interface, right? Released by Dell. This is a set of drivers that project that storage platform and make it accessible into Kubernetes, right? We also have the ability to layer on some of the container storage modules, right? So for example, one of the modules uh, would be resiliency. The resiliency module gives you faster failover for pods that utilize persistent volume claims. Another one the observability module. Observability allows you to pull in metrics into Kubernetes so that you can actually report on storage utilization like IOPS and bandwidth all the way down to a pod level. So you can actually see how your applications are performing and how they're consuming that storage. If you are already an existing PowerFlex customer, we can use those same CSI and CSM modules to access that PowerFlex storage from the Apex Cloud Platform compute. Now, with this platform, what can you run on this? Well, obviously, OpenShift is 
the industry leader for Kubernetes. So you can absolutely run your um, container native applications, right? So containers are taken care of. You can run virtual machines uh, through OpenShift virtualization, which is upstream kubevert, right? So your traditional workloads, your traditional applications can run just fine on OpenShift and coexist with your containerized applications and even take advantage of pod to pod networking. You also have the ability through Knative to be able to do serverless applications, right? Where you can focus on the code itself and not have to worry about the infrastructure underneath that's necessary to execute that code. There's also support for additional solutions. For example, Red Hat Open Data Science can be run on top of the Apex Cloud Platform for Red Hat OpenShift. So if you have AI or ML workloads that you want to utilize, to take advantage of the GPU options, uh, you can do that right on top of the Apex Cloud Platform for Red Hat OpenShift. So that is a deeper dive into the Apex Cloud Platform for Red Hat OpenShift. Uh, thank you.